13 bad. Alright guys, welcome back. It, <clears throat> apparently because of the um, early game played by Zenith as well as Orange, they did push forward the game because of Zenith and Orange ending so early we are ahead of time for once. So Mythtrust and Netflix SG will be played separately. So we're going to have both semi-finals here on the stream covered for you guys. So Netflix SG, Mythtrust, Singapore versus Thailand and I'm so sorry that I told you guys the stream was ending. Well, guess not. Fake GG from me as well. So. It's gonna be um, best of three remaining. as always, and it's a single elimination to you guys that are still confused as to how it's gonna be run. And Netflix SG, like we we saw many times before, they are a very, very, very talented team, and they have the potential to take a bigger team like Myth Trust, who has been around for a pretty long time out of the tournament. So if they do take him out, it will be them versus Orange, and if Myth Trust do it, take him out, it will be Myth Trust versus Orange. So. Mithra is going to run the very standard Dark Seer Shadow Demon first two picks, and Natalie SG opts for the Shadow Demon first pick. Uh, no, not Shadow Demon, Nyx Assassin first pick. And as always, guys, I'll keep the chat by my side so as to. Yeah. So always, I'll keep the chat by my side so as to not. Uh, to be able to keep tabs on whatever uh, you guys are saying. And. Yeah. Ten seconds remaining. So any technical issues or not technical issues, or any kind of issues remaining. you have right now is volume too loud, um, or whatever I'm saying, anything I'm missing out, any, any heroes you think will be uh, picked or not picked, you can tell me here in the chat and I'll yeah, give you a shout out if what you say makes sense and of course Kappa Kappa. And now Shadow Demon Darks here. Shadow Demon is a good counter to Darks here, so picking up the Darks here. Well, you, in a sense, you just negate uh, one of your, or you say, one of, one of the heroes that you are weak against. And Darkseer is generally a good hero. Can go into any lane. Uh, can go into the jungle if it does require him to. Shadow Demon, of course, gonna be a support of choice. And DK will be the mistrust hero. So Lakels might be picking up that uh, DK. Lakels, of course, played the really solid Weaver. I didn't have too much to look at it. Uh, we didn't have too much to look at it, but still, <coughs> DK uh, will be played here. And Netflix SG going for the Visage, uh, the Nyx Assassin, as well as the Gyrocopter. So, a very aggressive lineup here, and stun into the Visage. A slow Gyrocopter goes there with the Barrage, and you can take down someone very easily. And for my music playlist, I'll link you guys there, uh, link it to you guys very shortly. It's made up of mostly just random songs as well as. Random songs as well. Some of some of the stuff that I um, I got from you guys actually. I'm gonna link it down in the chat so you guys should see it. Yeah, so that's my YouTube playlist. There, I'll paste it out in the chat. Of course, when you guys hear this two minutes later, it'll be a little bit funny and off sync. But silence are gonna be banned out by Netflix SG. So Netflix, they respect the power of the silencer. They're gonna ban it out. They're gonna take out Anti Mage. They're gonna take out Bad Rider, Knife, Life Stealer, Wisp. Uh, well, Lone Druid as well as Prophet. Gonna be removed here by Mistrust. So those are the heroes they fear, and this will be the heroes that they want to go against. So Natalik SG. What are they gonna pick out? And what are they gonna pick here? Mistrust. Ten seconds. Mistrust, they have the makings of a pretty good lineup, but they do have the Two more slots for the tri lane. The Shadow Demon does need a counterpart, the Jakiro, perhaps the Dragon Strat. Uh, they could go for something like a Lashrak or Lina. They could go something along those lines to combo up the Shadow Demon. Or they could just go something else like a Sand King. Uh, in most cases, a Magnus gonna be taken out here by Mistrust and Kotal gonna be removed by Natalik. And the Wisp gonna be uh, banned out here by Chibi. Oh, Chibi's drafting. So. And now he's gonna ban out the Wisp and Mistrust. What are they gonna pick up? Very standard six pick Southeast Asian Dota right here. And nothing too out of the ordinary here. And Mistrust, they still have one more ban to go. It, 
they could start banning out offlane solos or solo mid they really don't want to deal with. They could ban out the pup, they could ban out the um, Queen of Pain. They will go along those lines, but they will be banning out the Queen of Pain, so not wanting to deal with the solo mid. And now Netholic SG will be looking for it, and they pick up the Sand King. So it looks to me like it's going to be a carry visage once again. Jakiro Dragon Strat incoming here from Myth Trust, Shadow Demon, Jakiro Dragon Knight. And that will be the choice of heroes here for Mistrust boys. And go see what the last pickup here for Natalic SG will be. Right, so. Sand King, as well as Jakiro, gonna be the pickup here. And I am Lou, I already pasted my playlist uh, in the chat. Remaining. If you guys, did you not get it? I pasted it there already in the chat. So any of you guys that have my, my playlist, you can actually just link it back here. Uh, link it back to the guy there in the chat. And yeah, no Netflix SG. They will have... They will have the last pickup here coming towards them. And big shout out to you guys, 1.3k of you. Um, joining me here this evening on Beyond the Summit 2. And this is this will be a quite a good matchup. I've seen Mistrust play in the Eastern Qualifiers. I've seen Netflix SG play uh, ever since the Flash Dirt 2 League Season 2. So they play very good Dota and they do draft some interesting stuff as well. So right now I'm not so sure what they're gonna go for. They have the Nyx, they have the Sand King, they have the Visage. So it looks to me like a carry Visage, they have the Visage being taking the number 2 role. Gyrocopter could be going into off lane. Sand King is also the Nyx Assassin. Or it could be a Solomid Nyx uh, trying to shut down the Dragon Knight with the constant mana burn. Um, leaving Sand King Visage as well as the Gyrocopter up top. And they pick up an off laner. So right now they need an off laner. And what's it gonna be? Seconds remaining. They are ticking down in terms of the time. Five's Lina. And it's gonna be a Lina. So wow! A lot of support is coming out of the way of Netflix SG, not picking up. Could this be a 2 1 2? Uh, I'm not so sure right now. It could be a 5 man middle. <laughs> Unlikely, but still, uh, not so sure how the Lena is going to fit in here. They do have uh, 4 supports and 1 carry right now. They don't really have a strong off laner, they don't really have a strong solo. Well, they do have Gyrocopter, they do have the Nyx Assassin. Uh, but Mo, well, Netflix SG, we're gonna see what they do, and it's gonna be a Morphling for Mistra, so Lakel's picks up his Morphling, and yep, Lakel's gonna pick up his Morphling here, and we are gonna see some interesting Dota. Morphling, of course, fallen out of favor after post TI2 nerfs, uh, did hurt him, hit him pretty hard, and now Morphling, after that nerf, uh, still gonna be played by Lakel's, Lakel's has the faith in the water guy, so gonna have. Two, two dragons, Morphling, Shadow Demon, Darks here. Pretty good team. What's with all this and now, we're gonna wait for the heroes to be picked up by the players. And we're gonna jump into the game. And hopefully, it will be a good one and not any one sided storms have we have been seeing for quite a bit here. Right, so the heroes are still not being picked seconds. up here. 10, ten seconds left. Seconds and after the 10 seconds, we will. We'll Five be actually seeing remaining. what happens next. So right now, Mistrust laning, pretty standard here. It's probably going to be a Dragonite middle lane morphling with the Shadow Demon Jakiro. Uh, very standard all across the board. And we have a quick pause coming out with Jakiro. So we're going to run through the teams very quickly. It's Natalik. Uh, Natalik is going to be on Radiant side. They will be playing Chibi on Nyx Assassin. Wow, this is so solo mid. Yep. Bottle Rush built. Not even going for a Tango, so... Very ballsy play here from Chibi's. Uh, Chibi feels that he could probably get the last hits without endangering his life too much. It's a DK, he's gonna be facing up middle. KS, gonna be on the visage. Henki is gonna be standing here, so Hen KY. Henki is gonna be on the Sand King, Wraith Blue. Gonna be on the Gyrocopter. Logiki is gonna play on Lina. And now, we have R5, R5 on Myth Trust. Gonna be playing the Jakiro support. TNK on the off, off lane darks here. Eba on the Dragon Knight. And Lakel's. Gonna pick up his Pits of Morphling and SD. Gonna play SD. Cool! Wow, we have a lot of items here. Let's try this. Alright, let's try out the Empowered very shortly and see if it messes with Empowered the overlay. It does mess up a little bit with the overlay. Uh, so, not gonna use that, but I do like this Empowered. I'm still torn as to what to get. So, it's gonna be a lot of item pooling here. 
for Lakels. Lakels might be going solo middle. No, this is solo mid Dragonite. Abba going solo mid with Tango as well as the three branches. R5, R5 as well as TNK. I'll be heading down there. So, I'm gonna see what they go for. So both teams are actually just going on the opposite side of the map, so they won't be finding any kills from both sides. 30 seconds and to show time. Pick up the waveform level 1, going for the, uh, the ring of protection, probably going for uh, tranquils or soul ring. Oh no, not soul ring, I'm talking about tranquils or a ring of basilius. TNK, pick up some jungling items. Yeah, looks junglish. DK, going solo mid. Uh, Jakiro support items, very standard on him. But I don't see how I want to see how Natlik SG actually run the lanes because they have a lot of supports there. So unless they're going five man middle, uh, <laughs> I'm not really sure why not. Yeah, Sankin could go middle. That's a good call out here. But Nick's assassin will be going middle. Um, no more it's gonna be an invis for Sankin, and there is no warding coming the way of. Um, no warding coming the way of Myth Trust on that side. So they do not know that an inverse rune on the Sand King is available. And Dragonite, contrary to popular belief, he does not have very high armor at level 1. Um, he has only 4. And Lina is going to come here. So they're going to assume it's a dual lane. And then Barrow Strike is going to follow. And Light Strike is immediately going to chain up as well. Impale to follow as well. And Law right-clicks. And this will be the first blood on Abba. Great gang. Lucky, lucky rune here for Chibi. Chibi will get his bottle here. He did go, he did opt for the no regeneration build and DK immediately uh, decided to jump in there. And now Abba will be taking a fall. And that's going to delay his bottle quite, quite a fair bit. So good gang here for Netflix SG. We'll be drawing first blood and going to bring up the last hits and denies 3 to 1 here for Chibi. And 3 to 2 here for Lakels on his morphling. Ray Palu has the flat cannon, uh, first level, and he's going to be going against this trial in the disruption shadow demon into the ice path. That's right, and the uh, locales. Not going for the first point in Morph, which is kind of interesting to me. He goes for the waveform first, so he won't be getting as good as the last hitting power as he will. But now he's going to drain all of that strength into agility and try and be a beast in the fights here. Henki about to hit level 2, uh, thanks to that gang in the middle lane. And we'll be dropping a sentry ward. We're not fine in the observers right now. And the camp is blocked out by the sentry placed down by Myth Trust Heroes. And Henki gonna be happy that he drew the first blood assist gold in the middle lane. And Chibi now, he will be having a great time against Abba. Abba gonna have his bottle walked out to him right now. Going for the first point uh, in Dragon Blood over the tail. So Chibi already has his bottle. He might want to throw out a mana burn. Yeah, throw out a mana burn. Still gets a poke off on uh, to Dragon Knight. So Dragon Knight, he did pick the Dragon, uh, the Dragon Blood right now. So he's a bit tanky, and he's not even going to contest the rune. The regen rune will go to Chibi, so that's going to be really good for him. Up top, we have a solo visage against a uh, Dark Seer. So nine for two against five for two. So Dark Seer, of course, will have that advantage with the high base damage, low, uh, high armor, and of course the Iron Shell. Um, going to be pushing heroes back. Visage with the low agility gain will not be able to get uh, well. As quick as an attack animation as you would like. TNK will be having a great time here. Grave Chill goes out on TNK, gets a little bit of right click down on him. And Surge is just gonna push, uh, send him away and he'll be okay. Meanwhile, Lakels drops a little low. And because of this low gank, they can't actually get. They can't actually get the ganks off. And looks like Henki as well as Lina. They want to go for a gank here. And they'll be rotating down middle once again. Gonna catch out Abba. Abba doesn't have his bottle, doesn't have his boots. Regen rune gonna go out once again. Just try and get some um just try and get some stun no. out onto him. And Dragonite is gonna come deny him as well. And he has to be very careful not to get impaled up. The sand the sand king as well as the Lina are in position for a little gank right now. And the bottle is gonna go up here on Abba. Abba gonna look pretty tanky now, gonna pass his bottle back and he's gonna be regenerated up to full HP. But meanwhile, Sand King, he's gonna sit there up top and Lina is gonna hit level two here on the sidelines. And the smoke's gonna wear off here, and Lina uh, will be walking away. And now the Sand King does show himself there on the Observer Wall. So a little bit of a failed gang there uh, by Henki as well as Logiki. So now gonna get the same lock twice, and Nyx Assassin will not be getting a gang. So he's gonna just impel up the wave and, and try and control the 4 minute rune. Yep, he's gonna get a 4 minute rune for himself. 
Oh, has to be careful here. If he gets tailed up, he might die. <coughs> but he doesn't have the mana. Uh, the chain up there. Amber throws out now Flame Breath. And now Sand King, as well as Gina, have rotated up top. And TNK going to take a defensive uh, defensive stance here. Uh, not going to be pushing too far ahead. And Visage will not be getting any kills. But as I imagine, oh no, Sand King. Darks here. Has to be very careful here. And Hinky still going to be Rain chasing on. Chibi picks up a haste rune, so right now they are uh, rotating in again. And Abba has to be very careful here. If he gets picked off here by the haste rune, it could be happen. Yeah, if he goes to low ground, he's dead. Yeah, he's going to come in here right now. Sand King is going to rotate in. Nope, not going to get it. So looks like Chibi wasn't that comfortable with just going for the haste and pill. So the Kels. Gonna farm pretty well. Look at his last hits 27, Darks here 22, and well, where did Gyrocopter go? Gyrocopter going into the jungle there, unable to find too much farm. Uh, has only has 6 for 0 because of this really aggressive try lane here uh, on side of Mithra. So, Mithra, I would say they're having the they're having the very good advantage right now. 500 gold uh, is the advantage for them, and Abba looking good on his DK with the constant bottle crowing. He's gonna be able to burn, uh, just spam out the flames. And then on to the Nyx Assassin as well. As pushing back the creep wave, he won't get the rune control, of course, with the Nyx Assassin throwing out stuns at him or whatnot. He can hit level 6 now. But Lodriki, uh, he's back here. He's trying to get some farm here with his rage attacks. Shadow Poison does tag out here. He might actually get the Lina. Oh, okay. Gotta be not gonna catch him there. But Nyx Assassin is in the middle lane here. It's gonna burn away Abba's mana. No, he doesn't even go for the mana burn. Because he knows there is a bottle, he's gonna save his mana there. And he misses all the last hits there on the tower. Uh, meanwhile, Visage already uh, does have his familiars, and he will be going after the darks here. Um, I imagine if he gets caught up position, if darks here does search, search aggressively. Right now, he does have the soul ring available for him, so he's gonna pop the soul ring now. Not popping a soul ring there. A little interesting. Uh, but they're gonna spot a double damage rune, and that's gonna be guarded by Henki. Henki is gonna guard it for now. Shadow Poison is gonna fly out there, and now I think Henki might actually decide to pick up the rune. But a haste rune here from Chibi, he's gonna pick a double damage, he's gonna run in. Yeah, he's gonna pop the Vendetta with the haste, he's gonna come in here, he's gonna look for a kill. There's no sentry ward here, Shadow Demon's caught way out of position, he's gonna get poked, impaled, as well as Madabun, Dragon Save to take the kill, and the Kels, uh can't do anything about this. So, great kill here, two kills for Netflix SG right now. Um, meanwhile, Dragonite still gonna be farming out in the middle lane, he does have the Dragon Form. And the birds are going to be chasing down TNK. TNK going to be slowed once again. Oh, the stun not going to latch. Exactly the right, uh, exactly the right way. And two points in search. I don't think that the visage can actually uh, hope to hope to get a kill on the darks here. So darks here playing very safe and going for two points in search rather than just one point. And Dragon Slave going to be pushing the creep wave back. Uh, but here comes the Shadow Poison as well, and. Shadow Poison as well. It's going to be keeping tabs on the support hero, something you cannot do uh, when the patch does change. And now, Chibi. After a successful gang up top, bottom, he's going to go uh, back in the middle lane, try and control up to Dragon Knight. Visage is going to come in with his familiars now. And he's going to TP a nice spike. Carabas Impale is going to miss, uh, but still. So, great. Oh, familiars going to be in a little bit of trouble. It's going to be. Dropping the stone form there in the middle lane, but Visage does come into the just come into the middle lane here. Arcane Boots Radiant gonna bring Chibi up to a bit more mana than he uh, wants. Abba gonna be harassed back by the familiars. The familiars gonna take a little bit of damage, but gonna be okay otherwise. Radiance top towers in bad shape. So gonna be a little bit of pooling here, but Sand King uh, has to be very careful. Shadow Poison trolls out. Nope, not gonna get it. And Illusion Rune for the Dragon Knight. Dragon Knight actually wants to go for a gang. Yeah, Henki might be a little trouble here. Comes the disruption. Ice Puff to follow. And oh, uh, Dragon Knight. Gonna go for the smoke and a very nice spell. And as well as a light strike here, but the waveform does get rid of him. And now Logic Key is in a little bit of danger. The Kel's rotating in just for a just in time for a nice kill there. Sand King way out of his league. And oh, <laughs> nice, nice vendetta strike here uh, from from Chibi. Chibi gonna get a free kill on the sh uh, Shadow Demon and Light Strike here does land on a Dragon Knight Illusion, but Dragon Tail uh, gonna be bouncing off back onto himself. And Abba throws out the Spike Carapace, and he got no Abba throws out Dragon Form. Gonna throw. Lakels goes down to the right click, and Sanking comes in here. Ice Puff once again 
and there comes the visage familiars they want to get a kill nice chain stun here from the familiars but mistrust they do get two kills here one on the jakiro uh, i mean one on the gyrocopter one on the nix assassin nix assassin actually buys back into his game uh, but not gonna find anything at the back of that but visage familiars stunning up just enough time to pick off the dragon knight so dragon knight goes down lakels goes down and Shadow Demon gets popped by the Vendetta. So it's going to be 5 for 3 now in favor of Natalik SG. And look at the gold graph. It's 1.5k in favor of Myth Trust, actually. Myth Trust, actually, and XP graph. A little bit in favor for them. And the formulas are just being micro really well here by KS at the moment. And GB. So Myth Trust heroes are all going to be sent back to base. TNK. Uh, good rotation from him. The search, keeping his Jakiro friend alive. Abba dying 0 2 now. Uh, not so good. But Sand King, of course, with his really clutch Sandstorm into Barrow Strike, managing to get out of there. Uh, the waveform, of course, did kill him, but still, it was a really good escape there. Once again, the familiars are going to be staying, sticking around there, causing a little bit of grief for the Morphling. The Morphling uh, sitting at the treads as well as a Magic Wand and the Ring of Aquila. So that's decent stats, decent armor as well as some, some farm, uh, some damage as well. Now we're going to see SD. Oh, we see here Nick's assassin. Oh, not gonna chase him there. Familiar's gonna drop once again, and gonna drop <laughs> just to troll him a little bit. Abel taking a little bit of damage. Uh, the regen rune. Also, of course, gonna go to the DK. So regen rune goes to the DK. That's a lot more spammy he can do in the lane, and he's getting a little bit out of control. But once he hits a certain level, it's gonna be very hard to bring him down. Lena is not exactly getting the best. She's level five actually. No, that's pretty good. Uh, level five from Sand King. Level five from Lena. Uh, because of the multitude of kills they did get. And now Sand King, he wants to kill here. He's gonna get the Shadow Demon as well. Is there gonna be a Light Strike follow up? Light Strike follows up. Dragon Slave as well. The Kels in a bit of trouble. Gonna dodge the call down. Exactly there. Great pick off here. And oh, here comes the Dragon Knight. Is he gonna go? Nice done here from the Familiars. Once again, a Nighttime Vision OP. And here comes the Tail. KS gets a grave chill on him. And Light Strike hits two. And R5, R5 brought down very low. So Sancho flies out. R5, R5. The Familiars are giving chase. And now again, Wave Fob. Gonna try and pick off so so some so some lows out on Lekel, so Kels dropping very low. And he doesn't have a wave bomb, he's out of mana, so something like strike is just gonna miss by a bit here. It's gonna strength morph it up to victory wave bomb to safety now. It's available for him. Lekel's gonna get out of there alive thanks to great strength toggling. But Nick's assassin's back here. Dragon Knight wants a dragon tail. Oh, gonna get tailed out by nice by Carapace. Once again, gonna start up the entire team. Ice buff catches a lot of them. Business brings him down. A uh, dragon slave hits on tree. Nick's assassin will down. So consumption will get a double kill for KS. And Barrel Strike is ready. Is there gonna be a Barrel Strike? Oh, a pause comes out from Nick's assassin. Oh yes, Sand King has DC'd out. So Henki unable um, to follow the, follow this up. And, and what a time to pause as well. Sand King has boots. Uh, Darks here. He does have the surge. And Dragonite might be a little bit out of position here. Um, he could get stunned. The familiars could catch up with, the, with their superior movement speed. Yeah. If they get the Barrel Strike on an Abba, I think they can kill him. Uh, they don't have Light Strike, but they do have the Bra Bra Rocket Barrage as well as the Stone Form from the Familiars. So we're going to see what is going to happen here. And hopefully it does resolve the um, lag issue here on the Sand King. Like the admins, not saying anything about this, but the thing is, the Sand King. Let's see if you can get off the Barrel Strike. Can we see the vision? Nope, we can't really see the vision right here. So right now you can see Mithros actually frantically pinging, pinging out uh, the various locations they could actually run to or maybe target the right heroes. But they should be fine. TNK just turns around, give him a surge, he should be fine. Uh, but still, if he decides to surge himself out, however, uh, he could find the, the Dragon Knight in a little bit of trouble. Great play here from KS, of course. The microing the familiar is really well. He's going to have a mech very soon at this rate. Lakel's uh, good strength toggling, got himself out of trouble there. 
nice morphling. Morphling looks like the Pokemon. Can't remember which Pokemon, but it looks like Pokemon the was it Arceus? But a blue one. So it's like kind of, some kind of cross between Arceus, Water, and Palkia. So Pokemon nerds out there, rejoice! I'm just making some references, but still. Visage showing you the power of Visage in uh, Fire, Fire Flash. The solo assumptions once you throw them out and solo Visage at that, so he has a lot of EXP as well as farm. Looks like, yep, net DC, so not so sure what's happening here. Um, well, in the net is DC, but not so sure what you're going to do about this. Standard pause can actually cause the players uh, to affect the players actually because they 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 lose the momentum, so they, they might not get the kill, and some of them might be spamming the buttons really hard. And once you spam up the buttons, you might get a kill. You might not get a kill because the Dragonite could be spamming the search, uh, could be casted on Ebba, and Ebba could just surge away to safety. But still, hopefully, Hinky. Uh, we'll reconnect back soon enough. Take a look at our gold graph just very quickly. Uh, it's about going up to zero after that fight, and EXP graph about 2k now in favor of Net Lake. Hmm. Hopefully, this gets resolved. Okay guys, I think I'll probably bring you back to the intermission screen just for a while there and so as you don't stare at the blank screen for too long and I'll be right back to play a little bit of songs. Sorry, see you guys later.
Alright guys, we're back here. It looks like Sankin has reconnected back into the game and Natalik SG have, of course, requested for him to be the one that unpauses the game. So, we're going to see how that's going to go. And TNK asked for G, but no hinky. Why? Uh, hinky. So you got to red pause. But anyway guys, welcome back to part 2 of probably your vault. So part 2 of your vault here after a rather long pause. We're going to go into the game and we are in the middle of a fight scene here. I'll be introducing the rest of stuff later. So they're going to try and go for him. The Sather is actually not going to give chase here. So a little bit of anticlimactic. Um, oh nice sensing uh, sanking stun and go, go for the call down as well. Go land the call down. Nice body blocking here. And good chain stun from the familiars. They might get rid of ever. Great, great play there by the gyrocopter. By the Sand King, he Burrow Strike there to the low ground. This could be a highlight video worthy, man. This was great play, great stun, great call down. The Surge came out, but the Familiar's Chain Stun exactly on point. Oh, that was amazing. That was worth the pause, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, Hanky. That guy, man. This He may be a stand-in, but he is talented. But anyway, guys, that's going to be 9 for 4 now. Dragon Knight takes a fall. And welcome back to part 2 of your vault. I am your host, Lysander Zonora, and bringing you your English coverage uh, coverage on behalf of the Beyond Summit here. And big shout-out to our sponsors, Gigabyte, yeah, Western Digital, there, there, as well as Corsair. And so, this is part 2. Like I said, this is the semi-finals between Natalik SG and Myth Trust, and it's game 1 now. And Netflix SG looks to be on a very good start. Lakel does have his patented morphling, so he might look to carry this game for his team. He's sitting at 1,000 gold there, and the familiar is just being a pain in general. So you have to remember not to give KS, not to give KS, um, his visage. And now Abba having died three times already, but that was absolutely fantastic chain starting coming out, uh, coming out of that. Of the radiant lineup, that was amazing. Uh, Abba is a talented player himself, but still, um, well, there's some stuff you just can't avoid. And Lina hits level six with the Laguna Blade and Visage. Gotta be stopping this push here. Uh, started by Lakels. Lakels was 1.2k right now. Red blue. Just gonna be face booting it up and walking in Hanky. The stick up one look towards his arcane, so maybe even rushing a blink dagger and uh, let Lina pick up the arcane for him. So, familiar is actually gonna be a hero on their own, and uh, with KS slowly microing them, this guy is doing such a good job. And uh, JB might actually look for an initiation here with the Vendetta. Right they have an observer ward keeping tabs here on this Dragon Knight, but there is support uh, in the form of the other dragon if they do decide Radiant to go. But no, they're gonna jump on Lakels here, Lakels. KS, meanwhile, still taking a defensive stance, uh, might want play, doesn't want to play too aggressive to scare Lakels away. But here comes the Familiars, they will be uh, charging in here. And yeah, they're gonna go reveal the smoke, instant strength morph here for Lakels and Epicenter to follow. Light Strike Ray, Laguna Blade, everything thrown onto this Morphling. Morphling evaporates, literally. And TP support is just not fast enough, and they lose their hard carry. 10 to 4 now for Natalik SG, and well executed gank, indeed it was. And what's happening to Dyer's body right now, Chibi. Yeah, coming that dragon flame, it's got a miss, got a hit the catapult. Uh -uh. Threats, bracer, bottle, stick. Uh, I'm gonna see if Chibi actually goes for the blink dagger. He looks like he's working towards a blink dagger, and a blink dagger Nyx Assassin is a very scary Nyx Assassin. Dyer's and that. Bottom tower's getting the business. Uh, that was Dyer pretty good. Just and now, Hazer in here. Oh, Chibi, Chibi's gonna haste all the way up top, and Lina gets a wow, gets a killing spree. The, that was gotta be the longest dragon slave there. Lodriki 3 0 on Lina. I love it when Lina's managed to carry. Uh, well, when I say carry, I mean a lot of kills, but here comes the haste. The next assassin, he's gonna go after it. The familiar's gonna throw a soul assumption. Right click, Chibi will end his life. And that was a great haste rune there. Jokiro not able to escape that myth uh, because Lodriki did keep him inside uh, this location here. Just hanging out around here, Jokiro really couldn't make a run for it. And now this is gonna be trying to stop the push here from Abba. Nick says, and picks up this blink dagger like I said he would. Uh, Dragon uh, gonna be burning down the tower quite a fair bit here. Visage might actually want to go for the deny. Here comes another TP. Uh, deny, no, not gonna get the deny. Call down's gonna miss. Uh, gonna hit the range creep there. The range creep will take the full brunt of this nuke. No, not gonna get the nuke onto him as well. But Ray Blue, uh, he did try to do everything uh, to try and get a counter gank off, but Abba gets a tower for himself, so that'll be happy. Uh, happy news for him. Drums will be picked up for himself, and TNK picks up his mech. GB in the Vendetta, he wants to look for a kill, and he will look to find it on Abba. Oh, he will find it on Abba. Hit! Impale! Mana burn. Yeah, Mana burn. Light Strike as well. Nice Laguna Blade, but a heal. The mech 
the back charge here, really great timing here from TNK, gonna save the carry life, the carry's life there, so TNK, good support play here from him. The Familiars, once again, looking to be a pain in the butt, and will be flying around, one of them is of course dead right now. And cool down, 90 seconds left, but Visage picks up his mechanism around the same time as the Darks here does, so both sides have the mech, and it's gonna be a lot harder to pick down heroes from a full burst, but Lakel's dying twice has not done him any good, Hanky, gonna borrow Shrek, and exchange waveform hits, with the Them dire buildings are tough as nails for now. But he has his epicenter up ready. And now Heba forced to pop to glyph in the middle lane. And oh familiar. Gonna take a lot of damage there. Might not want to lose this. He doesn't have it for quite a while now. And yes it he'll have the cooldown off in 60 seconds. Gonna smoke up here behind the tower. And they want to look for a pickoff and observer ward. Not gonna spot out any of these heroes. And Lodra Key might find himself in a little bit of trouble, Hanky. Back off here, but now Gyrocopter KS as well as Nick Sass, and there's gonna be a huge wraparound gank. And oh, surge out here from the DK. DK is gonna pop into this dragon form. Is he gonna stun? He's gonna spawn Nick Sass. Once again, Nick Sass, very quick on the top, very quick on the spike crab. He's gonna throw out Impel, doesn't get it in time. Locales comes in with the wave form. Soul Sunshine flies out. Nick Sass buys out into the game. He wants part of this action here, and SD is out of mana now. And Sand King, is he gonna look for something? Is that gonna be a call down? No call down to follow by the familiars. We'll chase him. Nice ice buff, gonna catch all of them. Light strike. Gonna miss, so not gonna get the kill there. And Chibi buys out for nothing, and that's gonna be a little bit of a waste of money. But right now, the bio doesn't really cost that much, it does cost 500, puts it on cooldown. But now, without the spells uh, from DK, they will be more bold in taking down this, looking to take down the tower. Visage has his familiars off cooldown, so even if this bat does die, he will have another one up, and up and running for himself. Hang on to that mid tower now. Helicopter, come pick up that ogre club. Walking towards his BKB ASAP. Ray Blue, uh, gonna be farming up this siege creep here. Looking to, like I said, his BKB visage KS. Already has the mech, logic key, bracer, arcane, magic wand. Pick up the sentry ward, trying to deward the map. And Lakel is once again the target of some fun. Going for the rather Pinoy build, but he is a tie. Because uh, Lakel is going for the Lincoln Sphere here, which is kind of wanted in this case. He's going to be the target of the gank once again. Here comes Hanky. Hanky wants something. Nope. Lakel will get out this fine. He's going to go to the tree line. Going to just waveform in there. But the birds will spot him out, so he might not be able to get out of there in time. And yep, waveform. Guess what's happening to die. So he's running really far. So he's really afraid of being chased down there. Meanwhile, his. No, not his courier. And he's gonna back off here. The creeps are gonna find him, but he's gonna get out there just fine. Uh, no haste, uh, no smoke means they will not be able to get him. And that was good positioning there by Lakels. Lakels gets out safe. Got TP down to the bottom lane. Can find some farm, but he's out of mana right now. So he might want to be. Oh, staying low for just a moment there. And now Sand King as well as Nina are gonna be sharing some farm here in the middle, uh, on top lane here on the NC stack. Again, another smoke here from Myth Trust. Gonna see if they can pick off any heroes right now. They did pick off Chibi the last round, and now Chibi is the only one available for gank there. And Lina, as well as SK, gonna TP right under um, the Shadow Demon's gank. So it looks like it will be a gank here on Visage. Visage will be TPing out as well, so the smoke gank will be entirely wasted. Smoke gank, so all of them TP out just as the smoke, uh, smoke come in, and yeah. They're going to be dodging a really big bullet right there. And again, Mithras wastes a lot of the time trying to look for gangs. XP, 4k in favor of Natalik, 3k gold uh, in favor of Vandal already back all the way. He does not want to get hit by multiple ultimates once again. And R5, R5. Dual Breath, Ice Path, as well as a Macro Pyre. SD, Perch, Disruption. Maxing Ice Path over Dole Breath, which is pretty good given, uh, given the fact that he does have the disruption and of course the Ice Paths uh, will be pivotal in helping them keep the teammates alive and now Dragonite going for a cloak so the he doesn't want to get burst do down he will be tower. going for a, perhaps it's going to be a casual cloak we'll see if he does build it into any other items but now Rocket's going to follow after Lakels and they're going to push down his creep wave Familiar's going to start up the creep wave Flat Cannon's going to remove it and now the tower's dropping really low, about 300 health now, and oh, Dragon Knight's in a big trouble. Abba's gonna spot him out. Is he gonna get it? Yep. Got a good for the hit. Stun, as well as the mana burn. Vermilion's gonna land right on top of it. Light Strike's gonna land. No, he's gonna whiff. 
But Miller, is he gonna land gold some uh, soul something? I mean, he's gonna be slowing down Grave Chill. He's gonna slow him as well. But Gyrocopter, he wants a pick up here. Nyx has gonna throw another impale, and this will be the end of him. Disruption, fall out, and he's gonna be a call down. Call down, go land on Dragonite. Dragonite's gonna hit by a barrel strike. He's gonna go down wall, go grab all four of them with, with the waveform as well. The ice puff will catch Sand King. Sand King will go down TNK, dropping very low in. Nice Dragon Slave gonna pick him up. And now, Lacal's in a bit of trouble here. He does have. Nope, he does not have any more mana and the Rocket Barrage will pick him off, right click from here, KS gets another kill in the back line of play, Ray Blue, he gets that kill, and now it's a full team wipe here, 17 for 6, Myth Trust find themselves completely destroyed here by Netflix and the Visage, this solo top Visage had all the farm in the world, all the EXP in the world throughout level 4 solo assumptions, this thing hits like a truck, it does 380 right, damage if I'm not wrong, uh, if you count it properly, it does hit 380 for and a max charge there. And right now, this 4 support Netflix SG, 4 support lineup actually working out for them. We've seen 4 carries. Right now, Netflix SG showing us that the supports are not weaklings at all. And they will be going. They will be going for. Uh, they'll be showing them who's boss here. And they are picking up a lot of heroes left and right. A full team right there. And the Moffling unable uh, to just do it. Because of this low mana pool right now, a mana burn actually does hurt him quite a bit. A waveform, Adeptus Strike, takes up half of his mana, and if he tries morphing out of that with the mana burn on top of him, he's gonna lose. Um, no, he's not gonna have the ability to morph anymore into Strang, and that's what happened there. He tried to morph everything into Strang, he got picked off uh, by the Gyrocopter as well as the Nyx. So, this Nyx Assassin playing really well. Chibi, I have to commend him for his great spike carapace usage. And R5, R5, he has been landing good ice paths, but still. A little bit under farm if you look at the hero levels, he's sitting at level 8 and level 8, Lina sitting at 10, Sanking at 9. Uh, it's not too big a difference, but still, it does matter when it comes to this. Net worth, of course, you can see Shadow Demon sitting at a very sad, very, very sad 700 net worth. And Shadow Demon as well as DK. Gonna be heading down there. Dagon here. Wow, Nyx Assassin had the money to buy a Dagon. And he buys up a gem as well. Gem is it his? No, it's gonna be Logic Key's gem. Uh, he's gonna sell his wand. He's gonna pick up the Dagon, and now he's got even more burst damage coming his way. Not so sure this is the right item, but it does allow you to evaporate the entire support on your own. So it's gonna make the supports waste even more money, uh, dropping down sentry wards and everything. But he has to be careful not to get caught out. Dagon's uh, lose the Radiant effect if you get killed too many times because up. the heroes get a bit higher level and a little more tanky to deal with your your nonsense. So Chibi. You're not gonna spot up Manar, uh, gonna spot a rune there. Sand King picks up his bling dagger, that's a big item to pick up. And uh, DNK, got a hood up on him, so it looks like Airbus is just gonna pick up the casual cloak. Sick and tired of being nuked down, uh, being nuked down by those, uh, by those spells. And Lodriki, Loki to pick up his level 11 on the Laguna Blade. Haste rune here, Shadow Demon's gonna destroy it rather than take it. So, too cool for haste. KS. Looking for his Aghanim Scepter, we'll have it very soon. He's been getting a lot of kills here, 4 for 0 on this Visage. You know, Familiar is doing the scouting duty once again. Uh, of course, they don't have a lot of vision range because they are blind. Really, they are blind if you have a red law. Um, and the GB. What's he gonna look at? So you're going to be very close to his pipe now, about 900 gold away. R5, R5 holding a smoke. His net worth right now, not looking too cool as well. 1.4k, he has gotten 2 kills, which is what helps uh, him a little bit. But Shadow Demon sitting at 700, a lot of his items are just 2 branches as well as the boots of speed. The rest are consumables. And Dragonite, the fake DK by Morphling, going to be put here. And they're going to send out the DK very aggressively as well. Have to be careful not to get caught out. Level 2 familiars are summoned right now, and you'll be pushing the tower. Homing missile flies out on TNK, so he can't actually uh, decide to. Yeah, he's gonna get hit by the rocket there, so it's gonna be. In Radiant, meanwhile, he's gonna fortify the structures here, the bottom tier 1. He's not gonna be able to be taken down by Lakels, but Lakels clears out the creep wave, so he might get the tier 1. Yeah, he will get the tier 1. And they will not be getting anything else. Trouble brewing at Radiant's bottom tower. Radiant's bottom towers. Don't and right now, Ray Blue is going to be using the flat cannon, going to be pushing back the creep wave and the familiars as well. The familiars do a uh, quite a lot of damage. Oh, they are at minimal damage right now. Uh, so there's only a, a number of clicks here. And KS, 
still going to be farming, tanking up a little bit of tower damage, Ray Blue going to be healed up by the mech, and Lakel still going to be split pushing here. He has lost his dragon uh, replicate, so he Trouble has to back out there. And looks like Netflix, they know that they can't get the tower, so they're going to be backing off there. Morphling going to pick up a Lincoln Sphere. And another smoke coming here from Mistrust. They're going to look for something, and Logic Key might be the target of the gank. No, he's going to rotate down middle, and they're going to look for Gyrocopter, Ray Blue. Has to be very careful, surge up here from the... From Dragonite, Dragonite's gonna back off there and no, oh, daytime smoke, not exactly the best. Uh, surging him up. Should have, should have searched the Shadow Demon, Shadow Demon. Uh, with the one second reaction time of humans, he will he would have gotten able to get the uh, would have gotten the disruption off. And once the disruption lands, that is when you can get the kill. Uh, Observer, meanwhile, gonna be semi dewarded, sick at 900 HP. I don't think the sentry wards are able to see it. But of course, the Lincoln Sphere or Morphling is going to be pretty huge. He does send another replicate to the front lines, DK. Uh, replicating a DK is pretty cool because it's two ice dragons late game. Right now, you have two corrosive dragons, but late game, you have two ice dragons, and ice dragons really do pack a punch. Henki, of course, uh, going to wait in line here for his epicenter to, uh, to land his epicenter because of his blink dagger. But now, Right, Palu gonna be shooting down his creep wave and Familiars will be clearing them out, recharging the damage. The damage now hitting 100 piece and that's the fake Dragon Knight. Hopefully they don't jump on him, uh, but I guess they can guess with Abba sitting so in the back lines there. That should be the bottom tower. That should be the and Gyrocopter as well as Dina forced to come back here. This is why uh, Morphling is one of the battle pick heroes because he can actually decide to split push and jump back into the battle anytime he wants to. Uh, and Abba. It's good to target the clone as well. Familiar's gonna be chased down, not gonna be caught. And Nick Assassin back to farming in the middle lane. His Dagger not being put to use after being purchased quite a few minutes ago. So, Logiki meanwhile, still waiting for it. Oh no, he does have his level 11. And Sand King does have a smoke, gonna go with a smoke. Pop it. No, not gonna go for it. Yeah, they're gonna go for it now. And lucky for them, there are no observer wards keeping tabs on that. And now, Visage gonna walk right under one now. The familiars are gonna be just continuing, uh, continuing to be a pain in the butt. And three stacks of poison here. Sentry Ward's gonna spot out the visage. So visage undercover smoke will be spotted out. And oh, they go for the epicenter here on the fake dark here. So a little bit of a waste. Uh, a huge waste there, Hinky. Uh, trying to pop the epicenter there and trying to get killed, which is why Morphling is really irritating as well. Uh, back in Dota One, you could tell that it was a fake by hovering the mouse over it and checking if it's a morphling, um, if it's under the morphling's control. But right now, it just shows the player's name, uh, the dark seer's player's name. So, I feel that that's not really cool uh, in terms of the replicate. It's really, it's a really big waste to waste all your spells on a replicate because they do have the same tank ability. And it's really hard to tell the difference. So. I'm not so sure if the interact interaction is the same in Dota 2, but Dota 1, I'm pretty sure you can hover over the fake and and you'll show you that uh, the the true owner of the illusion. You'll show you even if you do see a DK, it will show you as locales. Uh, but right now it's not the case. And now, right. Fulu is gonna send himself a salve and gonna heal himself up. And Lina as well as Nick Sassin still finding some farm in the middle lane. Pick up more points in Dagon. Not so sure this is the best idea, but of course Nick Sassin. Uh, I guess apart from the Dagger and sort of the Blink Initiation, he's he's just a burst hero, so the faster you can burst someone down, the better, I guess. Uh, but right now, we haven't gotten a kill in quite a long time, if you look at this, at the gold graph. The last kill we had is right here, where Gy Gyrocopter picks up the Dragon Knight, and that was 5 minutes ago. So no kills here, both teams playing very safely, Familiar is going to be dewarding a lot of things, the gems paying off for them as well, they have been holding on to it for quite a long time. And Chibi's uh, gonna pop the double damage right now. This is the time they want to look for a gank. And Abba, it's gonna be the prime target there. But unfortunately for Netflix, they will be fearing this uh, Morphling, uh, Morphling Illusion. Where's the Morphling Illusion? Yeah, he has cloned something. Does he have a clone? Yeah, he doesn't have a clone right now, so he has to TP back the old-fashioned way. And this tower is dropping very low. The familiars are just gonna be doing it on the front lines there. Gonna be pushing back. Nick Sassin has a double damage, so anyone getting caught out position there could go down. And here comes the call down, call down play. D drop down on Abba, Abba gets slowed by the call down, hits twice as well. The tower is going to go to Lina. So Lina is going to have a lot of gold coming away. Abba gets surged up and here comes the Grave Chill here on Vistage. Vistage is really tanky, he's really hard to bring down. BKB popped here on Dragonite. Nice wall here. Ray Blue, he tries to bring up Vistage. Will be going down nice impale as well as so Dagon. Will be disrupted up. 
And Nick says it's going to be dropped down right low and a pipe here. Gonna be saving them a lot of pain here. Chibi will be going down to the ball flick here. Very bad engagement and nice epicenter, but it's a level one epicenter. It's not that much damage. Laguna Blade tries to fly out here on Ebba, but because of the cloak, he survives. And Morphling. Now he wants to give chase. Lacels wants to give chase on Ray Blue. He has the vision. And not so sure why there's a pause. He typed he typed something out inside. Uh, mouse error. Um, all right. So, but he has. Uh, he's going to chase down Ray Blue. He's going for the Ghost Scepter. He's going for the E Blade. So the BKB on Dragon Knight as well as the Dark Seal Wall did pay out. Uh, they pay quite a bit of dividends oh, there, and uh, Logic Key is going to back out of there. They lose three of their core heroes. Their Visage was really hard to bring down, but still. They did lose him. And now 17 to 9, thrown back in the way of Myth Trust. And you see that immediately the Gold Graph dropping, the EXP Graph dropping as well. The Familiars are coming to give their aid, but Lakels, he looks to be in kill position right now. No, it's 500 HP here on the Gyrocopter. He could turn to fight this if. Uh, he gets enough support, but right now there's only a Lina here, and Laguna Blade just not enough damage uh, to bring down the DK. DK is extremely tanky in the front lines, which is why uh, Myth Trust and various teams actually do favor him as the number one, number two. Kind of. All right, so Locales calls for the okay. Yes, calls for G. He's very uh, afraid there for his teammates, so Locales not gonna give chase there, unable to kill even if the waveform did hit. Uh, but his adaptive strike does hit for quite a bit of damage right now. And they're gonna go for Roshan, so after winning that very decisive fight, they wanna go for Roche and they will be stunned up here by the familiars. Lakels pops the agility mob there, gonna wave into Roche, and right now I think that um Nathanic SG, they know that what's up. They spot it out with the familiars, they're gonna go try and get it. Yep, that's gonna be a ping here. And Roshan right now not done exactly the fastest. But they will not be getting enough time. Henki, he actually wants to come in here with the blink. He might actually get a blink stun in initiation here if he does get lucky. Familiars though, come land in here. Oh, there might be a brow strike. No, no brow strike here. Blink stun, blink stun. No blink stun here. Ice buff catches Henki. So, and a purge out him as well. And now, there's going to be a morphling with the Ages of Immortal. And they're going to surge up Ebba. Ebba doesn't have Dragon Form though. But here comes the BKB on the Gyrocopter. Gyrocopter. Gonna go for the for the Dragon Knight, but Dragon Knight has his own BKB. No, he gets popped here. He runs around the bend. He gets stunned up. Lina drops a light strike on him. Drops the Laguna Blade in his face. The Kels gonna burn down as well. Stun here. Mana burn. He's out of mana. He can't morph anymore. Morphling. He's gonna go down. Impale goes out on the Dark Seal. Wrong, wrong target though. Henki, he morphs wrongly. And now Soul Sun flies out. Right click here. Aegis is lost. And right now, R5, R5 will take a fall as well. Light Strike Array does land on the Twin Dragon. And now, Waveform away. Lakels tries to go here. And so Sancho flies on, and Lakels once again, he's you no, know, he's gonna be blocked by the mana, but the barrel strike goes out, chain stunning him down, unstoppable for Lodraki. Great play from this uh, from this Lina. Nyx Assassin gonna give chase to the SD, but no, they wanna look for the Darks here instead, not gonna find him. But a great turnaround gang here. Uh, 20 to 9, and Myth Trust lose their ages right off the bat. And Lina, 2.5k go on this girl, and Chibi sitting at uh, Dagon 2. Being able to burst down some key targets was really invaluable there. Visage finally has his second scepter. He will be able to summon a lot of familiars into the fight. And Henki, this guy as well as Lina, he's one of the few rarely you see Sand Kings or well stand-ins actually working so well uh, with a team here. But Henki, this guy, he's been playing absolutely fantastic. Lina picks up her own Blink Dagger. Uh, well, we'll be looking to throw her own mix of fire and magic into the team fights. And meanwhile, in Sentry Ward's gonna spot out this observer up top. And Myth Trust. Although the kill score is pretty deferred right now, uh, they still have a good chance coming. Their card carries are really strong. Uh, they have Lakels there on the Morph Link. He's nearly there to his EB, Abba, on the BKB as well as the Cloak and the Drums. And to all you guys asking, this is live. Um, you guys are just asking, so this is actually live, and now picks up even more Dagon. So Nick Sassin going for really, really heavy burst here. Uh, Chibi, I'm not so sure whether he did use uh, enough of that, but now with three familiars on the board, but KS has shown that he has the micro potential to play this visage. So three familiars will mean three times the stun. So Mistrust will have to be really careful when dealing with this. Lakels once again has his replicate up and online, 2.7k gold on him. We'll be looking towards that Eagle song very soon.
and now TNK gonna surge away. He has the pipe, he has the mech. The pipe and mech has been buying uh, his team up quite a lot of space here in the team fights. The Kel's gonna steal the entire small camp here, and here comes Chibi. Chibi is pissed. He wants TNK, but he has pipe, and there are three familiars on the board though. So, Wax stun, instant stun here. It's gonna be a chain stun, chain stun, one, two. And it's going to be a mana burn as well. Mana burn dagger. Nice mech charge here. Going to buy himself some time in a pipe as well. Spike Herb is going to be stunning them up. And going to go into the Vendetta. So very good play here. Level 3 Vendetta. Uh, going to save his life there. Darks here just getting the opening. Just pop the mech. So pop the mech and the pipe. Going to survive there. Nearly got brought down there by the chain stun here from the familiars. Familiars. Not so sure if they chain stun at the right moments. But still. Nearly got the kill there. And we've been a big kill tech as well. So meanwhile, Chibi looks for another target, but he is dropping low on HP. Uh, if he does spot out someone juicy like an SD or THD, that would be a good kill. And Mac Charge, gonna bring them up back to HP, uh, back to good health here. And meanwhile, still no heroes up on the map, and Jam gonna be spotted out here by Chibi. Chibi's gonna destroy it with the hate of Vendetta, and we'll be bottling up this haste rune. So that's gonna work for him. Familiars meanwhile, uh, meanwhile gonna be flying around the map and just maintaining the air superiority. Oh, gonna spot an observer ward there, yep. Gonna blink? No, why blink when you have the familiars to do it? So, really great play uh, in general. I like the synergy coming up from Natalik and of course, but Mistrust, they do have a very strong team lineup here with the VAC, with the wall, and of course the Ice Path. The VAC Ice Path is one of the most devastating combos I can ever see. It's like a, like I said, it's like a mini RP. If you get caught up without your BKB, you can actually go down. Butterfly here for Gyrocopter. So Rafe Blue finally gets up a tier 1 item. Oh, tier 3 or tier 4? Is that tier, yeah, tier 4 item. Um, and yeah, he has a BKB sitting at a pretty 8 charge, that's pretty good as well. KS in undercover smoke, Lena, Sand King as well as Nick Assassin, they all have really good mobility in this lineup. So if anyone gets caught out of position, say uh, Lakels for example, he could get picked off there and he has a Tiro Blade. He has to be very careful when using that. Uh, if he gets it on the wrong side, the Dagon as the Laguna Blade can end his life very quickly. And here a Surge out here. Garcopter has TP'd back to the tier 2 up top. No, the formulas are going to be farming up the ancients for the visage. This is actually is a pretty good hero in terms of uh, carrying if you have the proper micro skills and KS is one of those few guys right now that I've seen uh, with good micro skills on the familiars. Now Morphling. Dyer's top towers getting beat down. Just gonna take this time to farm up Lakel's um doesn't really fear that much because of the because of the morph illusion he does have, the Dragon Knight uh, clone. The Dragon Knight clone already has level 3 in Delta Dragon form, so he's gonna look to clone that up if he does get the opportunity to. And now Henki, oh, barrel striking a little bit aggressive there, might actually get into a little bit of trouble if he's not careful. We're gonna blink away safety right away. Sand King throws out the Dragon Breath. He's gonna barrel strike out. So he's gonna be okay. Uh, work for, for him for a moment there. Homing Missile here. Gonna be flying onto Dragon Knight, but still not gonna do that much. Shadow Demon as well as THD, gonna right click that. So get a little bit of gold and prevent the Dragon Knight from taking too much damage. And Surge out here, they're gonna look for a kill. Familiars once again gonna be D warding. And Morphling actually does pick off the Sand King one on one there with the Tiro Blade into the Adaptive Strike. Here comes the Surge here on DK. DK wants to look for a pick off, not gonna find it. And they will be they will be spotted here. And KS gets popped here by Dragon Tail. He will get caught out and he will go down. Lucky for him, he's not picking the Mag Charge. And the Grave Chill does go out here on Ebba and Visage will shatter into bits and pieces. So right now, Myth Trust they have picked up the big items and the DK looking really good here. Pop the Dragon Form though, uh, but still. They are looking very good here. There is no minus armor here on the on the Netflix side, so they can't actually look. Um, they can't actually look to to fight the DK in the late game. I'm not so sure how they're gonna deal with this. Furthermore, they have to fight with the Darks here, who will be cloning some of their top heroes in the fight. And a DK with the Blink Dagger, the Pages of Blink Dagger, the Blue Eyes White Dragon uh, with the Blink Dagger here, going to be 
throwing down burst streams of hurt. And Chibi, meanwhile, making the full use of this gem of true sight, gonna be destroying every single piece of ward here. And oh, Darks here in a little bit of trouble, gets stunned up here. Light Strike to follow, and Laguna Blade is gonna fly as well. Dragon Slave, Dragon Slave, no Ice Path gonna save his life. But here comes the missile. The missile is gonna land on him as well. But DK comes in with the blink, and gonna be back kicking Ray Flu, dropping very low. Hopefully, he doesn't pop his BKB because he's dropping very low. He's gonna just let himself die. And that was a great kill here. And TNK getting out of there. This guy is unkillable with the mech, with the pipe, just surviving every single burst they throw at him. So really good play from him. Yeah, but once again, gonna be chased down. Oh, don't want to be feeding those familiars there. Uh, we're gonna dropping the familiar and dropping familiar number two. And they want to go for Abba. Abba gets stunned. Lina, here he comes with the light strike, with the dragon stay. Wicked sick here for Lodriki. And the Dragon Knight not gonna get out of there in time. Uh, a lot of burst damage coming the way of Chibi. Good. Good initiation as well, but here comes the Kels. He wants to get a kill here on SD. I'm wondering what would happen if the Atero Blade Adaptive Strike uh, hit does hit when Nick Assassin pops his spike. Oh, loses another familiar once again. Oh, gonna get one click off on it. Not gonna get the second one. So, Blade Mill here for Nick Sass uh Blade Mill here for Visage. Nick Assassin picks up Dagon 4. Double damage on him as well. And he finds Morphling. Morphling. Sentry Ward's gonna be spotted out once again uh, by the Familiars. I'm not so sure if they are actually going. Um, it's gonna be very hard to engage here on the Kells. The Kells does have the Replicate. Replicate's so good on him. Once again, using Vendetta to destroy the entire ward. And KS. KS here will be. And apparently there is... Alright guys, I'll remove slow mode here uh, for your... Let me just remove slow mode. A um, friend of mine just told me that there is slow mode, so... There is no slow mode. So you guys are probably trolling. And there's going to be a smoke here on Myth Trust. And they're going to be dropping a ward here. Roshan does respawn now. So Darcia picks up a hex. So this could be huge in the next fight. And right now, I don't really like... Oh, it's going to be a blink dagger. Catch Ray Blue before he even gets his BKB off. And it's going to be a ghost after the Ethereal Blade. Actually does buy him a little bit of time. But here comes the Barrel Strike here. And Nathalie will lose the Gyrocopter. And TNK dropping very low here. Is there going to be a dagger as well? Disruption buys him a little bit of time. KS with his... Blade mail. Is he gonna get anything off Hanky? Dropping very low. Sentry ball drops, and he will lose his life. There, are three heroes lost. There, are three familiars as well. This was a horrible fight here uh, for Natalik SG. Myth Trust looks to be coming back into this game here with the Morphling, with the DK. They are looking really strong. The Blink DK and has to be very careful. Here gets tailed up, gets vacuum in. Chibi, what are you doing, man? Drops the gem, and he should have known better than to go back in there for it. And now. He loses his life, he loses his gem, and this is a huge turnaround here. Natalik SG, they look strong in the early game, but now DK with the two heavy carries uh, on online here, and Abba with the Blink Dagger. You don't mess with a Dragonite Blink Dagger. Lakels with the Aegis, it's gonna be extremely difficult to pick him off now. Lina actually surviving there, uh, just on a hair. So oh, very interesting here, Lod uh, Lodriki 7 for 0 on this Lina, hopefully he doesn't die anymore. Um, I'm happy to see those Radiance people with perfect scores. And Lakels, meanwhile, up 5k goal on this guy, gotta disrupt him up, even more morphlings to the fight. Radiance and look at this tower just evaporate here with the force Radiance of water, and Lodriki. So oh, Lakels, he wants to go for a snipe, uh, nope. He morphs all to agility, and he has he's all strength right now. It's out of strength, and he's gone full agility, and he's gonna go for another smoke, another smoke here, and Natalik looks to be on the back foot now, despite the kill disadvantage, and here comes the bling on KS, once again, KS, not so sure what he was doing, and a nice barrel strike, call down as well, here comes BKB for once on Rape Blue, he's gonna pop the Aegis on Morphling, it's lost immediately, R5, R5 dropping very low as well, Rape Blue doing a lot of damage to the Morphling, Morphling throws out the EB, as well as the adaptive strike, gonna throw the flames out, Ever is gonna drop Visage, will drop down, Laguna Blade will destroy the Dragon Knight, Lakels, Gonna be giving chase. Nyx Assassin does find him out. Spike Carapace as well. Gonna get hexed up. Oh no. So catch the lands on Chibix. Chibix could be going down here. Dual breath as well. So wait for more. Remove him. Logic key goes down. Oh, poor Linda will be going down. And a 
Nice familiar chain stun here. Gonna stun up Lakels just for a little bit, but not gonna do too much. The Sand King here uh, will not be caught out. Oh, Morphling does manage to clone him, so he might get into the fray now. Yeah, Morphling could come in the fray. He has the EB, he has the Adaptive Strike. Not so sure why he didn't want to come out of that. Still, uh, Familiar's gonna be chasing Please, down TNK. Tower's coming apart. Oh, they're gonna get caught here by the tower. And he's gonna drop the search, and he's gonna escape out just fine. But still, a huge fight here. For Myth Trust, Myth Trust, take out four Netflix support heroes, and this is the problem with running four supports in just one carry. Uh, you do lose a lot of momentum as the game drags on. Now it's 45 minutes in, and Netflix SG looking to be on the back foot here. Gonna lose the middle racks here. They do not have fortification. They just popped it earlier, and now looking to be very bad here in this game ever. BKB Blink Dagger was all he needed, and 7,000 gold here for Lacels. He can just munch away at these towers for free, and now losing a familiar there as well. Tower ain't a pretty sight right now. Regeneration. But I just checked the chat, guys. There is no slow mode turned on. Um, I did check the. Well, I did check the. I just I did just check it a little bit. There's no slow mode. So guys, I'm not so sure if you guys are trolling me or not because there is no slow mode. The slow mode is unchecked right now. So and Rick Blue gonna be farming up here. His butterfly just not doing enough. He might have to go for rapier this game if he wants to actually have a chance at winning this. And Hanky, he has been letting those good epicenters, but still uh, not able to turn uh, the fight against Mithrust. Mithrust finally pick up an Io Scardi here. Locales. 1996 with zero strength. No, well, not zero three. It doesn't morph the last piece a little bit nostalgic or sentimental. Uh, not so sure why Lakel doesn't want to morph it, but still, it's not big deal. He has a lot of agility. The Tiro Blade as well as the Adaptive Strike can do a lot of damage. But at least the Aegis was popped there. Uh, Lakel is being a little bit too greedy. Uh, did allow himself to be nuked down because of the. Uh, because of his zero blade, but still, why do these guys never run out of smokes? They do time it out really well, and now invisibility ruin gonna be picked up here by Shadow Demon. And uh, Nathalic has to be very careful when, when going for this gank. Oh, Lina has to be very careful. Here comes Morphe here with the with the tail end. Immediate stun, Ray Palu throws out the call down. He's gonna try for the slow. Ebba gets slowed down here by the by the call down and Ebba popping the BKB will be backing off there. Gyrocopter very quick here on the BKB. And Lodriki, um, his teammates actually saving his life there. Fake DK hanging in the background. Nick Sassin popped a vendetta now, but with the gem and with uh, Mithra sticking as five, it's gonna be very difficult to get any pickoffs whatsoever. And yeah, looks like Gyrocopter will need three rapiers like Fnatic did. Uh, like you guys are saying in the chat, but I'm not even sure but I'm pretty sure Fnatic lost that game, didn't they? Uh, they picked up the three rapiers and dropped it subsequently after the BKB got baited out and he got stunned. Uh, I think pretty much that was what happened. Oh, Dagon picks up Shadow Demon. Great pick off here. Uh, but somehow Lina always manages manages to get the last hit here. Surge out here on Darks here. He wants to go for something. Morphling is going to wave right in. Spike Cap is immediately used there by Chibi. Uh, and, and the BKB is popped here. Ray Blue gets his BKB forced out. But here comes the Dragon Tail as well. His BKB is out. He's in trouble here. Mac Trash as well. A Tiro Blade goes out. And Lacalz goes down. He's a Tiro Blade. Costing him his life. Laguna Blade a bit too strong for him. Laguna Blade OP. And now they lose a lot of heroes. Dragonite might have dived a little bit too far. He tries to tank. And he will go down. Lodriki. Picking up double kill, a Tiro Blade, like I said, you do not just simply throw that thing around. Laguna Blade amplified by 40%, yes please, look at the damage, 950 amplified by 40%, you are just asking to die. And with the Dagon 5 to follow and as well as the Mana Burn, he won't even have any time to pop that strength. So more throwing coming on from both sides here, so this time it's the counter throw here from Myth Trust. And that was a bad dive, and I would arguably arguably say that was a good bait here. Gyrocopter, his 
his butterfly keeping him alive. Uh, the right click, just not enough time to pick him off. And a Tiro Blade was a mistake as well. After all the nukes were thrown here on the, uh, on the gyrocopter, the Tiro Blade made him immune to any more physical damage, and that was great. So Ray Palu, uh have to be careful. He won't be getting so lucky all the time here. Uh, Dagon 5 now for the Nyx Assassin. He will have a lot more burst than... No, Morphling might actually want to think twice, or perhaps go for a BKB when using that Tiro Blade, or even go for a Mantis style to dispel it up. Uh, I don't think Skadi was the right choice here. Uh, we're gonna see if Lakels does actually actually to go for the Manta, or is he gonna go for something like a BKB, which could work as well, something to bring him out of the Gold Scepter, uh, because using a Tiro Blade does make him unable to attack as well. Now Ray Palu, uh, gonna go up there, farm up this entire creep wave just very quickly here, and Familiar's gonna steal a little bit as well. Nick Assassin, gonna pop the Vendetta, gonna be hiding in the background. The gem was reclaimed, of course, by oh, this Abba's gem. So Abba gonna return the gem, return the favor. This is what sportsmanship is all about. And now we're gonna settle in for some long games here. This is only game one of the best of three between Natalik SG and Myth Trust. I'm your host, Lysander Zenora, casting on behalf of Beyond the Summit, giving you your English broadcast. Big shout out to our sponsors, Gigabyte, e e the Western Digital, as well as Corsair, and. This is the best of three in the semi-finals. Loser goes out is a single elimination. The winner will fight uh, will fight Orange in the grand finals tomorrow. Zenith being eliminated earlier on uh, this evening. 2-0-0. Here comes the Dragon Knight. He wants to go for the blink surged up here. Instant Spike Carapace is going to blink away. Great. Uh, so far, I'd like to commend Chibi on his really quick reactions with the Spike Carapace. He has been doing a good job. And Lina hitting level 18. Let's carry Lina. The Familiars, meanwhile, are going to be doing a good job there, killing off the range creeps. Doing a little bit of split pushing here with the Familiars, you never thought that would happen. Uh, but the Familiars are going to be pushing the wave a little bit, and look at this! It's actually pushing the wave pretty successfully, I know. Here comes Morphling, he's going to get a free pick off. Going to get a kill here. Familiar is going to blow up in a pile of ice, and we'll see what Lakels. Lakels did buy out there, so he won't have a new item, as well as no buyout for quite a while now. And now Visage, um, with the sole assumption, another source of burst damage to go towards the Ethereal Morph. Oh, Lakels at this point, he's just suiciding. It's like going for MOM, but for magical damage, so... Not exactly the best when you're facing a Selena and a Dagon 5. Mana burn that hits quite hard, soul assumption, that's a lot of us. And <laughs> imagine, with the Veil of the Scott, you lose your base 25% uh, magic resistance, and... You lose your base magic, uh, magic resistance. Uh, wow, I see a blink and a strike here. And Morphling gets burned down. He's gonna. Oh, he's gonna replicate out. So he's gonna be okay. But still, that was really close there. He nearly got brought down by the Laguna Blade. Oh, ice buff. Doesn't work on Familiars. That's a very cool interaction right there. And they might actually just perch up there on the high ground. No. Eat up the Screed Wave. Perhaps. Not gonna go. I'm still pretty uh, puzzled as to why Stone Familiars have zero armor at level 1. Uh, it's the same concept as Doom, where zero armor or one armor for that matter. Uh, when he's so heavily armored, he's one of the most heavily armored heroes in the game, and yet he looks like an idiot. Whereas Storm Spirit, with his belly wide open, has five starting armor. Talk about logic. Uh, but now Gyrocopter picked up a Satanic as well. Wow, this is a good item to pick up. Satanic uh, will be helping him regen the fight. So if Morphling does decide to burst him down, he pops the BKB, turns it around. But here comes uh, here comes Roche. Attempt number three. Uh, Nick Assassin Chibi, he knows what's up, he wants to go for it, and there is cheese on the line as well. And who could turn away uh, a slice of mozzarella? Yummy, yum, yum. And now, they're gonna be backing off there. Familiars, uh, gotta get hit. Yeah, Familiars, I guess, gonna land. Yeah, gotta land, stun up the creep wave, and this Familiar doesn't have stone form for a while. Uh, don't wanna go there. Nope, get smashed. 100 gold uh, going the way of Myth Trust. And now it's going to be a little bit of tensions uh, running high here in the Roche pit. And we're going to see what's happening up in a few moments. Chibi does have a haste rune and that's going to be good. And an instant tail here for once. He does not pop it in time. He's going to buy out for this. Is he going to buy out? No, not going to buy out. Call down comes down on all his heroes. Logic, he backs off there and gets back back in. Laguna Blade does land on Lakels this time before he pops the Gold Scepter and he will die. Okay. Oh, Dragon Knight does go down, so that's a good play here. Hank, he drops the epicenter as well as the veil, but Gyrocopter takes a fall, and now so Assumption TNK doesn't hurt as much anymore. Blade Mill gonna go up, Barrel Strike gonna stun up the entire team here, gonna blink away, and Visage will be left to die. And that's a four man 
drop here. Lacalus picks up a triple kill. All the familiars will go down. Visage will try and buy out to try and stop this. Gyrocopter will buy out as well. But now, uh, Nick Sassin getting caught up for once without the Spire Carapace. And this Roshan will go uh, to Myth Trust, I imagine. And a stun more again. Again, gonna be well buying them some time for this. Roche attempt and they're going to be summoning in the gyrocopter and this is not a good idea if they die now they could lose the game they are going one on five here and nope gonna get back back in and you already see Ray Palu dropping very low here gonna get destroyed he does not have buyout and now 25 for 30 and it's gonna be 55 uh, 55 minute game and now Lakels gonna be banging away at this Roshan he will get the cheese he will get the ages I expect him to get the ages actually uh, or maybe the cheese even the cheese will bring back up Nope, gonna take the Aegis, not gonna pop the cheese. Maybe wants to sell the Quilla. Uh, doesn't sell the Quilla. So Darkseer will pick up the cheese now. Now it's gonna be really difficult for Natalik to play. They had a good run, uh, but now with all the heroes actually dying there. And Klaus very cleverly not popping the Tiro Blade this time round. Doesn't get nuked down by the Laguna Blade. But that was a horrendous fight for Natalik SG. They lose the Gyrocopter twice without his buyout. And right now I think instead of a BKB, uh, instead of a Divine Rape, well he needs a Divine Rapier, but he should get a black king bar. He doesn't hit for just he doesn't hit hard enough right now. Uh, the morphling hits really hard with 200 over base damage and a slow from the ages. Uh, well, from the eye of Scardi. Abba looking to be very tanky. Not going to do too much damage, but just going to be the initiation here with the dragon dragon tail. And of course, the dark seal wall always going to be a pain with the cipher vice as well. He's going to have a shiva's gut. Yeah, shiva's gut completed here on the dark seal. And now, um, Darks here as well as Storms, uh, as well as the um, Shadow Team are going to be pushing the, they're going to be farming up the Ancients a little bit. And surprised to see Mithras actually not making a beeline earlier for the base. They're just going to play it safe, and the familiar birds are going to be taking out this entire creep wave here on the bottom lane. And now KS. Has to be careful not to get caught out here. Dragon Knight does have Dragon Form. He has the Blink Dagger. And this could be disastrous for them. It's like a Blink Dagger on a on a Beastmaster as well. And here comes the Dragon. He's going to start up KS once again. He gets caught out. It's Hero Blade as well. And he's going to pop the BKB this time. Lakaos has the BKB. No Laguna Blade for you, sir. KS going to pop. And no Visage for this game. And the Purge goes out. Ray is out of options here. He has no BKB. He gets forced out here. Saved by his teammate. Happy Center going to buy some time. Laguna get blessed. Blocked by the Laguna. Uh, gets blocked there by the Lincoln Sphere. Abba throws out the Dragon Tail. Lodriki is going to be throwing back. And this time, I don't think that Netflix SG can come back from this game. GG calls out here from KS. GG indeed. 50. GG indeed. 57 minutes in. And Myth Trust with the hard carries off. Uh, the two very hard carries in this game are going to be farming. Uh, going to be taking this game one against Netflix SG versus Myth Trust. Myth Trust uh, persevering from an early win here from Netflix SG, but Netflix SG unable to push into the base, and a little bit of risky plays do cost them the game. And right now, we're going to go into game two, guys. Uh, don't go away. There's still game two and game three. Uh, if Netflix do take a game here, oh, gonna get Hexy on GB. GB gets blown to bits here. Wow, how much intelligence uh, agility does this guy have? He's morphed everything. Uh, he's morphed everything into agility and four, uh, three plate mills here. New meta here for Abba. 42 base armor, uh, bonus armor here. Gonna blink into the trees here, just trolling at this moment. Henki, gonna get caught out here. And the Shadow Poison will take him out. And now the Ancient's gonna fall, and yep, Netflix SG, not gonna win this game. Myth Trust, uh, the Thai guys, um, gonna show you how good they are. Lakels, his Morphling is indeed patented. And he does one shot the Lodriki. And KS, already DC'd out, and the drone will fall, so. 1-0, Myth Trust takes first blood in this best of three. And I'm your host, Lysander Zonora, giving you your English broadcast here. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll be coming back to game two very shortly. Just put your song requests down in the bottom below. A uh, big shout out to our sponsors, Gigabyte. Um, Gigabyte Western Digital as well as Corsair. And if you like my cast, follow me on Twitch, like me on Facebook, and follow me. Follow me on Twitter for the most important updates, especially my giveaway happening on my Facebook page. You have to be, of course, liking it to get it. Free keys and stuff like that. You'll be done on another day. But yep, we'll be going into the next game very shortly. So stay with me and I'll see you guys very shortly. So that's screen for you guys.